assalamu alaikum dear students today we have to discuss the third sub unit of magnetism that's magnetism and magnetic material isse pehle humne magnetic field magnetic force aur cycloton moving to galvanometer inko discuss kiya so now today our topic is magnetic uh magnetism and magnetic materials you know magnetic materials classification of magnetic materials faraday and ferromagnetic that will be discussed at the end of this um, earth's magnetic field ye to hum discuss kar rahe hain lekin today we will uh, first of all we will dis discuss uh, magnetic field so magnetic field you know magnetic field is the space it is the space around a magnet or current carrying conductor for example we have a bar magnet here it's magnetic north and it, this is magnetic south so this bar magnet it will form a space around it within which its influence can be felt this space is like that it will form a space like that inside it will go like this uniformly so this space around the magnet within which it is influence or we can say for example let us suppose this is the space around the magnet within within which it is influence can be felt so what is actually magnetic field it is the modification of space around the magnet or current carrying conductor you know current carrying conductor carrying current so right hand thumb rule the curl of finger gives the magnetic field is my magnetic field aise hota hai aise magnetic field aata hai isme तो इसमें मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऐसे जाता है यहाँ से ऐसे ऊपर आता है सो दिस स्पेस अराउंड द करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर और द स्पेस अराउंड द बार मैग्नेट विद इन विच इट एस इन्फ्लुएंस कैन बी फेल्ड हमने किसी और मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ पोल को लाया तो ये नॉर्थ पोल उसको रिपेल करेगा या ये साउथ पोल इसको अट्रैक्ट करेगा लेकिन विद इन द लिमिटेड स्पेस so in other words if we would if you if we would go towards the general definition of the space general definition of the field so we say field is the modification of space if this modification is by charge then it is called electric field if this modification is by um, mass then it is called a gravitational field if this is modification is by magnet then it is called a magnetic field so when we when we take a charge in some space jab hum kisi charge ko kisi space mein rakh dete hain to wo charge is space ko modify karke isme nayi property bana isse pehle jab tak for example maine is space mein yahan charge rakhi isse pehle ya na to isme force of attraction kisi charge par tha na to force of jo hi maine is charge ko yahan par rakha ab agar main koi aur charge ya to attract karegi ya repel depend is upon the जब मैंने किसी जगह फील्ड रखा या करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर रखा तो उसमें जो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड यू नो दैट इससे पहले हमने करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर से किसी भी जगह मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट बी इज इक्वल टू म्यू जीरो बाई फोर फाइव to i by a that depends upon this is a is distance that depends upon current so yahan par straight conductor ka magnetic field jo hai wo current current par depend karta hai kitni current conductor mein ja rahi hai aur kaun se space mein rakha hai medium of space kya hai to isi tarah jab aap bar magnet kisi jagah rakhte hai to wo bhi isi par depend karta hai ki ye bar magnet wo is magnetic north pole ki polarity kya hai pole strength kya hai that's m it is pole strength jaise hum magnetic charge is denoted by q here mag pole strength of north pole is m n and this is m s what is m small m s it is the pole strength of magnetic south pole this is the pole strength of magnetic north pole we know for dipole dipole ke liye to equal and opposite charges hote hain isi tarah ye magnetic dipole hai so here m s is equal to m n that is equal to m we take the this is the polarity of north pole or south pole pole strength of north pole so jo kaam yahan par pole strength kar rahi hai wahi kaam electrostatics mein charge q kar rahi hai 
तो ये हम आगे देखेंगे कि एनोलॉगी क्या है इसमें तो फिलहाल हम मैग्नेटिक फील्ड को डिस्कस कर रहे थे स्पेस अराउंड इट करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर और मैग्नेट विद इन विच इट इज इन्फ्लुएंस कैन बी फेल्ट इज कॉल्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड तो इस फील्ड को रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए हम इस फील्ड को कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करेंगे सो जो रिप्रेजेंट द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस जैसे फेरेडी ने कांसेप्ट दिया था इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस टू रिप्रेजेंट बिकॉज दीज फील्ड चाहे वो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड हो चाहे वो इलेक्ट्रिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड हो दे वी कैन नॉट सी देम वी दे आर नॉट सीन बाय वी कैन नॉट सी देम वी कैन ओनली फील देम they are known and whenever their their force is non contact force that's not contact force so we have to represent this there is a representation for so magnetic field is represented by magnetic field lines so what what is a magnetic field line so magnetic field lines magnetic field lines so what we have to this is the very important magnetic field lines magnetic field lines you know or you can say magnetic force lines magnetic field lines or magnetic force lines so what are magnetic field lines or magnetic force lines magnetic field lines or magnetic force lines these are the imaginary lines which give the pictorial representation of magnetic field imaginary lines imaginary lines which give the pictorial representation representation of magnetic field magnetic field are called magnetic field line so what are the magnetic field lines the imaginary lines which give the pictorial representation of magnetic field are called a magnetic field lines but these are the imaginary lines but they represent the real field they are the imaginary lines but they represent the real field. so pictorial representation ek magnetic field ki picture represent karne ke liye hum magnetic field lines ko represent kar dikhane ke liye magnetic field lines ko hum dikhate hain जिसे हमें ये अंदाजा होता है कि कहां कहां से किस डायरेक्शन में और कैसा मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिखता है जो सो नाउ दीज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस हैव सम प्रॉपर्टीज दीज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस हैव सम प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस जैसे जैसे मैंने यहां पर दिखाया है ये नॉर्थ पोल है ये साउथ पोल है तो ये जो ये दीज लाइंस आर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस अराउंड एंड आउटसाइड एंड इनसाइड सो वी हैव टू डिस्कस नाउ हियर properties of magnetic field lines properties of magnetic field lines properties properties of magnetic field lines so first properties they are continuous and closed curves they are they are continuous continuous and closed curves they are continuous and closed curves ye curved shape mein hote hote hain jaise agar hum isse pehle hum dekhte hain positive charge so they are straight lines they they are outwards from positive charge and towards negative charge but here the magnetic field lines they are continuous and closed curves outside the magnet they go from north to south outside they go from north to south and inside they go from south to north they go second prop they go from north north to south pole outside the magnet outside the magnet and inside and inside inside the grow from south to north south to north 
First is they are continuous and closed curve. Second, outside band they go from north to south, and inside they uh, they are uh, they go from south to north. And outside they are curved. Inside they are straight lines. So inside uh, we can say this is this is not the property, but we can say inside the bar magnet magnetic field is uniform because parallel lines represent a uniform field. Outside it's non uniform because here it is strong and out. Here it's weak and here again density increase it's strong. So we will discuss these properties. Third property, the tangent to the magnetic field line at any point gives the direction. Tangent to the magnetic field line. For example, if we want to find the direction of magnetic field by this bore magnet at this point, so you have to draw the tangent to this line. This will be the direction of magnetic field at this point. And if you want to find here, so you draw the tangent, so this is the direction here, this is the direction. So tangent to the magnetic field line at any point gives the direction at that point. So this is another third property. The tangent to the tangent to tangent to the magnetic field line. Magnetic field. line at any point gives the direction of magnetic field at that point. At that point. The tangent to the magnetic field line at any point gives the direction of magnetic field at that point. And fourth property, no two magnetic field lines can intersect each other. For example, I will draw here, comes a magnetic field line and it intersects with this magnetic field line here. This is the magnetic field line. So, no two magnetic, if the ma two magnetic field line intersect here, first the direction, this line gives the direction this and this line gives direction this. So, there becomes two tangents. So, it means at the same point there will be two directions. At the same point P, there will be two directions. If two magnetic field lines intersect, then at the same point there will, there will become two directions of magnetic field. But for a vector point to have two different directions at the same point, it's not possible. It's not possible for a vector point P uh, to have two different directions simultaneously at the same point. So uh, we can say no two magnetic field lines can intersect each other because at the point of intersection there becomes two directions which is not possible. So no two magnetic field lines, two magnetic magnetic field lines cannot cannot intersect because at the point of intersection there becomes two directions which is not possible which is not possible because at the point of intersection there becomes two directions which is not possible this was the this so what are the properties they are continuous and closed they go from north to south outside and inside they go from south to north the tangent to the magnetic field at any point gives the direction so two magnetic field lines cannot intersect so sometimes we define them eh? the magnetic field lines are curved paths tangent to which at any point gives the direction in that in some books you will find the definition that is property the, um, the those paths uh, curved paths the tangent to which at any point gives the direction of magnetic field at that point are called a magnetic field lines so or uh, or we can define them as uh, the these are the paths along which unit pass to test for tends to move if it is free to do so this definition we were frequently using in uh, electrostatics electric fields so whenever we are supposed to define the electric field, we were using the definition frequently that the electric field line is a path along which unit path to test charge tends to move if it is free to do so. 
but here here we we do, uh, we does not use this definition because there is a reason actually magnetic monopole does not exist when magnetic monopole does not exist that's why we are not frequently using this definition this we are not frequently using this because we know magnetic monopole does not exist we will discuss it later why magnetic monopole that's the divergence of magnetic field is zero we will discuss this later on we have to discuss this in electromagnetic induction so and another property fifth property is the so uh, the density of the magnetic field line is represented the strength of field if we have two uh, we have here magnetic field lines parallel parallel and equispaced line is represent a uniform field if the lines are parallel and equispaced then they represent a uniform field parallel uh, uniform this is also uniform this is uniform field this is uniform the density represents the strength. This is strong field. This is strong field and this is weak field. Weak field. So density of the magnetic field line is represent the strength of field. Where there is high density, field is strong. Where there is low density, field is weak. Jaapar density zyada hoti hai, wahan field strong hota hai. Jaapar density low hoti hai. So we can say density of the field line is represent the strong strength of field. Low density represent weak field, so high density represents strong field. And parallel and equispaced line represent uniform field. And another property, magnetic field line is sixth property. Magnetic field lines cannot pass through the diamagnetic substance. Magnetic field lines cannot pass through the diamagnetic substance. These were the properties of magnetic field lines. So, uh, and uh, we have to discuss here, uh, now we have to discuss here magnetic. Uh, uh, analogy between magnetic force and electrostatic force. So we will discuss it. That will be in uh, that will be discussed in next lecture because if we will continue this, uh, the lecture becomes big and it's it becomes hard to upload it. So thank you.